If you're looking for a case that is water resistant and drop proof and you couldn't really care less about what your screen looks like, go with the Pelican CE 1180. If you really care about, you know, being able to use your phone to its fullest potential, like with the iPhone 5S and the nifty Touch ID fingerprint sensor, go with the OtterBox Defender. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca Hey, it's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to do a comparison video between the Pelican CE 1180 and the OtterBox Defender. Now there's two things about these cases. The first one is that they're not waterproof cases, though they claim to offer a certain level of water resistance. And they are both, both case manufacturers are kind of named after element, or animals. You've got Pelican, some sort of bird, and then you've got the water box. I know, that was pretty awful. I won't do that ever again, I promise. Now at mobilereviewsa.ca, our reviews are based on real usage. So each one of these cases we've used for several weeks before actually doing all the drop tests and all the reviews for it. So we can say in confidence that, you know, what's good about a case and what's bad about the case. And between these, these two cases, they scored both the same. So we gave them both score 3.7 A's out of five. Now in terms of the weight and bulk of the case, the OtterBox Defender is thicker, though it is a little shorter. Now you'll notice the thickness of the case more so than the tallness of the case, because you're not holding, you generally don't hold your phone like this, you hold it like this or like this. And so the, th the slimness of the Pelican CE 1180 case uh, makes it feel like it's kind of not there. You know it's there, but it's not as thick and bulky as the OtterBox Defender. Now in terms of installation, the Pelican CE 1180 has screws. You have to install it with screws. I hate screws. And the OtterBox Defender, well, it's this entire tedious process of packing rubber into little crevices in polycarbonate plastic. So this one, installation of the OtterBox Defender is a little easier than the uh, Pelican CE 1180. Again, we always think about if your phone accidentally gets wet, you want to pull your phone out as quickly as possible and dry it off. You're going to do that way easier with the OtterBox Defender than the Pelican CE 1180. In terms of the build quality, unlike some of the other OtterBox cases that we've used, the Defender has... It doesn't feel like a cheap case, like the pieces go well together uh, and they don't seem to expand over time, which happens with certain uh, cases and their rubber pieces. For the Pelican CE 1180, the casing feels very, very nice and it's the same kind of plastic or whatever Pelican uses as all their other cases. So there is a warranty. There is a Pelican Unlimited warranty for the backing of this case. If you want to know more, go to their website. But I believe it's if the backing breaks, then they're going to replace your case for free. So on a frictionless surface or near frictionless surface like this one, it slides around quite easily, but it goes into pockets very, very easily. Not like the OtterBox Defender, which is rubber and will get caught on clothes. We just finished talking about the design and I forgot to say at the beginning, the Pelican CE 1180 scores just a tiny bit better than the OtterBox Defender. Just a little bit. They're almost equal in terms of design. But when it comes to protection, the Pelican case, well, is way better than the OtterBox case. Now, both of these cases drop very, very well. I believe this one was dropped down a stairwell, and this one was skipped like a rock in our gravel parking lot. We pretended that it was a lake and this was a rock, and we tried to skip it. The phone that was in both these cases survived. In terms of water resistance, this one's got three gaping holes, and so you dip this in water, and water's just gonna go right into the case. With the CE 1180, there isn't a waterproof seal, but with the pressure from the front and back panel, as well as the screen protector, screen protector has this kind of foam liner. And so it won't keep water out of a full submersion, but on a rain, on a rainy day, it will keep the water out. So the water resistance goes to the Pelican CE 1180. In terms of the screen protector, both of them have plastic screen protectors. Through all the drops, you know, nothing happened to the screen, so we say they're about equal in terms of screen protection. So if you're keeping score, the Pelican CE 1180 has come out twice and the OtterBox Defender has one no category. So if you're starting to feel a little sad, I wouldn't because in terms of functionality, the OtterBox Defender is hard to beat in relation to these two cases. The Volt CE 1180, again, it's easy to get to everything, 
But with the OtterBox Defender, it's got this hole in the screen protector, so if you have an iPhone 5S, you can easily access the Touch ID functionality, which is that fingerprint sensor, and it's, it's a nifty, nifty feature. I use it every single day. Both of these cases allow you to access all the vol volume port buttons, not ports, volume buttons, the mute ringer switch, and both of these cases have these plastic nubs that cover up the lightning port connector as well as the uh, headphone jack. So in terms of that, they are very, very similar. But again, OtterBox Defender, you can touch the Touch ID with your fingers through the screen protector. In terms of screen usability, that goes to OtterBox, you know, it totally goes to OtterBox. The screen protector covers the almost the entire length of the phone. And so right at the bottom where you would swipe up for your control center, well, there's no plastic there. So you can easily access that feature in iOS 7, which is nice. You, ha you would have a difficult time doing that with the CE 1180 because there is a lip at the bottom here. And so the swipe works really well if you run your finger from below the touchscreen and swipe up. You can't really do that with the Pelican C1180, and you have to take a couple of tries to get to the command center on iOS 7. Now, the other part about the screen usability is that there is a pretty big lip between the touch screen and the front panel of this of the uh, CE1180. So if you've got bigger thumbs, you might have difficult trying to wedge your thumb meat into the edge to tap the you know, letters on the, the Q and the whatever letters over here. You might have a bit of difficulty getting to those letters. The front panel on the OtterBox Defender is raised, so you can you could get to those keys easier than you would on the Pelican Vault CE1180. And the last part is the screen usability and the screen protector on the Vault diffuses the retina screen. And so it makes it look like it's very, very pixely. Your eyes get used to it over time, but you know, you can de if you look hard enough, you can definitely tell that everything not is not as sharp as a regular Retina screen. The glare on that screen protector isn't that great either. The screen protector on the OtterBox Defender is pretty good. There's not a lot of glare and there's not a lot of white reflection that kind of makes your screen really hard to read and, you know, I wouldn't say bright sunlight, but when you've got a bright light like this one right there. So again, both these cases scored almost the same. In terms of the design and the protection, the Pelican does better, but in terms of functionality, accessing your phone and using it, the OtterBox Defender comes out on top. Both these cases are great, and depending if you're looking for more protection or if you're looking for more functionality. Now, the OtterBox Defenders are found in big box stores, and so you know there's a good chance that somebody else might have this case, whereas in the Pelican CE 1180, this is a pretty unique case. So. You know, you can go to their website and order it uh, online and, you know, you can be a proud owner in one of these cases. So if you're looking for similar cases, other than the OtterBox Defender and the Pelican case, we've got reviews and videos for the Lunatic Strike as well as the Lunatic Tactic Extreme and they'll be on this side. On this side, we've got the Ballistic Everyone and the Griffin Survivor. Oh, the Griffin Survivor. We're in the process of filming this case, so that's why it's a part. But you know, this is just a fraction of all the cases that we've actually purchased on our own account and actually use them for several weeks and doing all the reviews and doing all the drop tests for them. So when we say, you know, these cases, some cases are good, some cases are bad, we can say that in pure confidence because, you know, it's like $400 in cases right here. I'm Aaron the Ho. If you have any questions about these two cases, Leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. You can ask us questions there. And again, we'll get back to you. So if you know anybody who's looking for a case, you know, send this to them, share this video, or click subscribe. We come out with uh, new review videos every single week. So if you wanna stay on top of all the funky things that we're doing to these cases, click subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up if this was useful to you. If you're looking to purchase one of these cases, do go to our website and go through one of the manufacturer links there because that would greatly help us out. We love doing these case reviews and doing all these funky tests for them. Uh, so if you could support us, that would be really, really awesome. I'm Aaron The Ho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviewsa.ca and keep your phone protected with both these cases.